Hey, welcome back to Python 4 Java Coders. This is part eight, where I talk about hash maps in Java, but in Python, they are called dictionaries. Now, for my students who are watching this, we didn't do hash maps because it's not part of the AP uh, plan, but uh, they're quite useful and quite powerful. So let's take a look real quick. Here, you can see that a hash map needs to be imported, okay? Um, and a hash map is very much like an array. So in an array, you store some values by number. They're, they're ordered. So item zero might be, you know, this, you know, item zero might be Bob. Item one might be Jennifer. Item th two might be JR, etc., etc., etc. A hash map is stored by what's called a key and a value. And if we take a look at the code here, you'll you'll see what we're doing. It's probably gonna make a lot more sense here in Python since it's something new to, to at least to my students. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a dictionary called capitals. And in this case, I use curly braces. Okay, if it was a list, I would use square brackets, but here I use the curly braces. And what this lets me do is something very, very fascinating is I can do the following, capitals Japan equals Tokyo. Capitals China equals Beijing. Capitals of South Korea, at least South Korea, is Seoul. So this lets me store a great deal of data into one structure. Okay, so now in Java, you can see over here, you have to, of course, declare it. It's a hash map. My key is a string. My value that I'm returning is a string. So just like you have a key here, it's a string. The value here is a string. Of course, Python being Python, it's much simpler. You don't have to worry about all that kind of nonsense. Over here, it's a new hash map. <laughs> Again, string, comma, string. And then here what I've done is I've declared country as a string and capital as a string. Again, Python, you don't need to do that. In Java, I had to use put. So into the capitals hash map, I put the key Japan, which is associated with Tokyo, China and Beijing, and South Korea with Seoul. So if I actually here, if I did went ahead and said print capitals, capitals, and if you run that, and you can see, I've got Japan is associated with Tokyo, China is associated with Beijing, and South Korea is associated with Seoul. Now, in Java, you need to use the get method to get the value out of the key. But of course, Python being Python is much easier. Capital equals capitals, and I just put Japan, and then print, Japan, colon, and then format, capital. Let's go ahead and run that and see what it looks like. Capitals, of course I spelled capitals wrong somewhere. Capitals, spelling errors, happens to everybody. So Japan, oops, I forgot my squirrely brackets there. Okay, so Japan and Tokyo. And I can go ahead and do the same thing here. So I could do print, and I'm gonna say country equals South Korea. And I'll say capital equals capitals country. So I'm just using variables. This is nothing, this should be nothing new. And then again, print, uh, boom, boom, space, boom, boom, uh, format country and the capital. So if I run this, so you see South Korea is Seoul. Now, of course, I could have done this. I could have just put South Korea here, and I could have put actually capitals South Korea. I can do that. You can always substitute, just, just like you can in other circumstances. But again, if you notice here, I'm keeping my variable names very clear. So this is a dictionary of capitals. The key is the country, 
and the value is the capital. Okay, so this refers to this. Let's see, that's how I do it. At least it makes it makes sense. I think to my way to do it that way. Um, here's something. If I put Korea instead, let's see what happens. We get an error. Okay, it's called a key error because that doesn't exist in the list. So if I try to access something that doesn't exist in the list, I'm going to get an error. So you have to be very careful with that. Um, one thing you can do. Actually, I'll just show this. It's not over here, but if I, what I could do is like this. If country in capitals, so that'll tell me, is it in there or not? If it's in there, go ahead and print it. Otherwise, I can put something like else, you know, print, sorry, sorry, that, that, country does not exist, okay, or that key doesn't exist, however you want to put it. Sorry, that country doesn't exist because it's not in the list. So that's a way to avoid that particular error. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the next one. And then this is how we would print out the entire dictionary. Okay. So this is the for each method. So in the case of a dictionary, so we'd say for country, because that's what the keys are, in capitals, okay, the capital equals capitals country, the current country, and then print, uh, let's see here, boom, dot format country comma capital. Let's go ahead and run that and print a little bit of space here, print, run that, and we should see South Korea, Seoul, uh, Japan, Tokyo, China, Beijing. Now notice the order is a little bit different here. The way that Java orders things is different to the way that Python orders things. And there have been some changes in Python recently. Um, the thing with hash maps is they are not ordered. They're not guaranteed to be in a certain order. Uh, lists and sorry, uh, arrays and array lists are always in the same order because you can choose. They are ordered lists. Hash maps are a type of unordered list, so it could come out in any order when you do it like this. Now, so you can see I did for country and capitals. Now it might be easier if you think of it for key and capitals and value equals, and then we could put key and value. So this is a more general format. So for key and dictionary name, the value is the dictionary name and the key. I'm going to put key there. And then we print out the key and value. But if you know what type of data is in there, again, it might make sense to say country and capital. So let's go run that and just make sure we get the exact same output. So these are, again, a very, very useful structure to use. You can also do something like this. Um, I'll just go ahead. I'll put uh, capitals. I could say I'm gonna make a new a new list and get rid of the old one, and I'll say USA and uh, Washington DC and we'll, comma. So it's a key and value pair, comma key value pair, comma key value pair, and you always put a colon in between them. The value this does not have to be a string. I could have put uh, the population. I think that's right. So I could say I might say population. USA 3000. I could put Japan. Uh, Japan's about 120 million, give or take, etc., etc. I could the key again doesn't have to be a string. It could have been. I think I even do numbers. Um, I haven't tried it for a while, but basically it's very very flexible. As opposed to, of course, arrays and array lists over here in the Java world, or hash maps, I should say, sorry, in the Java world where you have to declare it's a string and a string, it's always going to be a string and a string. If you want to change that, you have to make a new hash map with a different type uh, system. So, uh, yeah, so that's uh, dictionaries in Python coming from the hash map world of Java. So, yeah, hope that, hope that was helpful. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.